Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 223 pounds. Fighting out of Kuwait City, Kuwait, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out what a punch really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch right hand on point Landing it well here. Good action early. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Checks that leg kick. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? The left punch is true. Now the right hand. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Big, powerful punch lands, now he gets back to range. Right left combo by the Korean Super Bowl. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Good punch. Guys, really throwing with authority. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. You got to check the low leg kick. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by George. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is the jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Nice loop and punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Blocks the shot. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Big punch land to the middle. Overhand attempt now, it's blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like this dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting speed up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Ooh, what a punch. Powerful kick that what a round. Right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. 
timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice straight punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Let's go. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, nice right hand. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Keep your hands up. Oh, straight right. Beautiful kick. His misses are entertaining. How about that shin? Oh, he missed with that right hand. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end muscle. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. That was snuck in. Nice strike. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like Arizona. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mix in his zone. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop this, John. Stop it. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Beautiful right punch follows it up with the left. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, that right hand is on point. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Good stick. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Short. Another one. Yep. Up oh, and the left hand. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. 
he's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, the action continues here and now as our next Ready? round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, nice jab. Punch over the top. Right up the elbow. Just out of range with that right hook. And they separate. Unable to connect there. Nice one, two there. Just missing on the counter there. Good punch land. Oh, misses with the jab. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Nice kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Right hand upstairs. And misses with the right hand. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Able to check the high kick. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Beautiful head kick. Straight punch lands. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Choi. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Nice. Back and forth we go. Uppercut. Oh. Effective use of the jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Unable to connect with the right. Switch 
the guard lands the right hand. Unable to connect with a rifle. Big leg kick land. That's a big strike right there. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Checks the leg kick. Just missed with the left there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. That one landed clean. Come on, right hook to the head rock. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And they separate. Nice strike. Back and forth we go here! Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. See if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Nice leg kicks. Beautiful punch. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Big head kick. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Unable to land with that punch. Right hand punch. Man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Choi's kick is blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. Leg kick. Right punches there. Oh, big head kick land. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeps his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Just misses there with the left. Great punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful leg kick thrown.
Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. So turning defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Visibly limping here. Beautiful strike. Just out of range with that left hook. 15 seconds. Final seconds of round four. Nice body kick right on the field. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Choi. Misses with that punch. Big head kick lands. Big punch lands. Big power shot there. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Pretty good jab there by Short. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Great punch landing with so much power. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, and he caught the kick. Now connects with a right. He loaded up. lands and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, big punch land. For three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Choi. Goes to the body with the knee. So another jab for him there. Again, we keep talking about this reach advantage, but he is certainly making good use of it in this matchup tonight. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Let's go. Let's Trying to kick the leg out. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Ooh, big shot lands. Real quick leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Powerful leg kick land. Nice 
leg kick lands. Some nice back and forth action here. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Nice punch here. Body kick now by the Korean Super Bowl. He's looking for that left, left hand. Thunderous oh, knock there. Rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. One minute to go in the fight. Right hand, then a left. How's his opponent still standing? I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Big head kick lands. 30 seconds now to... Seconds. Can't take many of those, you better check. Went for the inside leg kick. Head kick. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. <laughs> the official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision, Marzuka. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the...